Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Did not expect to film this video for you all today, but I thought, why not? Let's do another video. I am sharing with you all some swatches. I got this very generous package from Benefit Cosmetics where they sent me their entire blush collection. Um, if you are wondering what shade I am wearing today, it is the shade Sunny because it is sunny in LA today as it is every day. I'm going to apply just a wee bit more. Uh, this is the shade I have been wearing, I want to say, all week long. They did send a brush over. I haven't tried it yet, um, but this is the Sephora Contour Slash Blush Brush that I've had for years and years. Um, so let's apply just a little bit more blush because why not? And yes, it is super hot. So this is the shade Sunny. Let's just start with this one. So this is described as a warm coral brush and a natural matte finish. Um, this is the, you know, regular normal benefit packaging. For some reason, I feel like it's it's a lot smaller, a little bit more compact than it used to. I'm not sure. And you do get 0.21 ounces or 6 grams for $29. These blushes are available at Sephora and BenefitCosmetics.com. So I've been loving this shade. So they have 10 new shades, Silky Soft Ultra Fine Powder Blush. As you all know, I have been a fan of the cream blush since I want to say about 2020. Powder blush was my go-to for years and years, and this shade is just beautiful. So I'm going to try to swatch these over here. In the packaging, every, every one of them is different with the picture, and there is a description of each shade right up here. And you also get a mirror just in case. I feel like blush is actually the trend now. I tried to bring it up all the way, you know, like the cool kids are doing, all the way into my concealer. Let me know how you all feel. Do I look younger? Do I look beautiful? Let me know. I feel like every time I watch Olivia on H3, she has the blush like all the way up here. So let's try that today. Let me know. I feel like you can barely even see it. I think that once we start swatching the other shades, you should be able to see it a lot better. There's a hula in here as well. I actually, when I first started using makeup, this was one of my first purchases. Hula is not a new shade, but this is described as a matte powder bronzer. This is definitely a lot cooler than the shades I wear today. Definitely lean more towards warmer shades. Definitely feels like I did not pick up any product. This is like my shade of skin tone. So if you've got a light or skin tone than I do, this will definitely work as a bronzer for you. If you are my skin tone or deeper, this may not work out for you. And there's a cute little picture of a butterfly here. Ooh, look at a lot of shade. Butterfly. This is a golden orange blush. OMG. There is just like the tiniest bit of shimmer within this formula. Oh, and the shade is the shade name is right on the actual unit here. I just noticed that. Butterfly. Does it say hula in here? It sure does. Hula. Hello. Ooh. This is definitely creamier than the first two shades, than hula and sunny. So I feel like this is definitely going to swatch even nicer. Oh yeah. So creamy. Oh yeah. So if you are a, a deeper skin tone than I am, this is definitely going to be very bright for you. Next up, we have Krista. 
This is a strawberry pink blush in a soft shimmer finish. See the name there? Strawberry pink blush, soft shimmer finish. Look at that. What a beautiful shade. Let's see here. Yeah. This one definitely feels softer than the matte shades. And look at that. She is bright. Oh yeah, look at that. Right. I think maybe you could get like a soft wash of color of this if you are perhaps a lighter skin tone. It would work. We have a pom pom. This is a pomegranate rose blush with a natural matte finish. This is very neutral. I think this is perfect for like fall. This is quite soft as well. I think I kind of like this, kind of like a dusty mauve shade. Let's maybe swatch this one over here. So just a little bit deeper than sunny like this. Next up I have the shade Terra, which is a golden brick red blush. Ooh, this is a soft shimmer. That is pretty. You can see some shimmers here as well. Definitely a little bit more silky. Do that one here. Oh, oh, I like that. This is another like fall color. This is in my like pile. <gasps> okay, love, 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 love. I think on me, it would definitely have to be more like a soft wash of color. I think if you are of a deeper skin tone, this may work very beautifully for you. Next, I, this, I don't think this is new. But this is Dandelion. This is a baby pink blush in a satin finish. So this is not new. This is in the light department. Baby pink blush. Definitely feels a lot silky, a little bit more powdery. And she is light. Will probably be like a winter shade for me <laughs> but if you are of a deeper skin tone than mine this is going to look powdery okay next up we have Shelly this is a warm seashell pink blush this is a soft shimmer finish oh I can definitely see some shimmer here it's a very pretty shade warm seashell pink Ooh. This is very, feels very nice. Definitely on the lighter side. But I really like the packaging here, Shelly. I like this, this one's going in my leg pile. I really like the shimmer in this one. And it actually kind of shows up even on my skin tone. So Willa here is a soft neutral rose blush in a satin finish. It's a very cute packaging here, the descriptor. Little neutral rosy shade for you. Let's do that here. Oh very pretty too there's a little bit of shimmer that kind of translates okay this is going on my leg pile i have three more left okay this is probably my favorite of the packaging this is moon this is a rich berry blush in a satin finish i really like this graphic kind of goes with my top mm. For my deeper skin tones. Oh, this feels really nice. Look at that beautiful shade. OMG. I'm going to just swatch this here. Oh my god. Oh, that is 
looks beautiful. Just a soft wash of color for me. This is going in my like pile too. This is a beautiful shade for my deeper skin toned friends. Oh, this is perfect, like a fall time shade. Next I have the shade Peachin, just Peachin. Peachin, this is a golden peach blush, soft shimmer finish. She's definitely on the lighter side, but feels very nice. Little powdery, but it just feels really nice. We're gonna swatch her right over here. Oh, that is pretty. If you are my skin tone or darker, this is not going to work out for you. Highly recommend Sunny, even though it's matte. This has got just too light, actually. Then we have Java, a rosy mocha blush, natural matte finish. I like this packaging as well. I think we have, we see a cheetah over here. Ooh. Natural matte finish. I think this is going to be beautiful on deeper skin tones. This feels so much better than Hoola. A little bit more silky. Oh yeah. That's really nice. But for my deeper skin toned friends, it says get wild. Sweep this rosy mocha blush on cheeks for deep luscious color and a natural matte finish. So those are the blushes. I actually made them all fit in one arm. I think we did pretty well here. I'm gonna share with you all my favorites. I did a favorites pile here. A rich berry blush. Then we have Willa, a soft neutral rose blush in a satin finish. And we have Shelly, a warm seashell pink. This is a soft shimmer finish. I forgot where she is on my arm. A golden brick red blush. A soft shimmer finish. Pom pom, a pomegranate rose blush in a natural matte finish and then obviously sunny the first one i opened a warm coral blush in a natural matte finish i think i mean butterfly could be in the favorites as well it's a very unusual color a golden orange blush with a soft shimmer finish this is beautiful. Krista, too. I mean, they could all be my favorites. Krista. I like the packaging as well in this one. Big hit. A strawberry pink blush in a soft shimmer finish. So I will try to wear as many of these blushes as I can before my next favorites video and give you all um, some updates. I have been wearing this blush to work all week long and I still wear a mask to work and it did very, very well. I felt like it held up even better than my bronzer. But again, I have been wearing cream blushes a lot, which don't really hold up against a mask because of all of the contact. That is all I have for you all today. Let me know if you will be adding any of these beautiful blushes to cart. Let me know if you have a favorite from these swatches. I know I'm not the best at swatching, um, but some beautiful shades. Look at that butterfly shade. And Sunny right over here. It's the one I'm wearing. This one. I think it was Moon. That's going to be my go-to during fall. I can already feel it. Uh, and don't forget the brush here. This is a multi-tasking cheek blush. Look at this beautiful packaging. You can blend your way to a gorgeous glow with this multi-tasking retractable cheek brush for on-the-go blush and bronzer and highlighter application. The brush retails for $32. There are no ratings here on the Sephora website. 
This is new and available online only. So this is the blush. It's beautiful color here. Ooh. Retractable. Oh, let's do a little blush applicator. Let's do it on the back of the... Oh, and look, there's like a little moon here. Okay, that's very pretty. Do a little bit more and do it where I can actually see. Oh yeah, very pretty. That's the shade Krista, which I also liked. Oh, that's gonna look so pretty. Can we layer? Oh, wow. I am blushed out. Before I keep applying more blushes, I am going to sign off because now I just have too much blush. That is all I have for you all today. I think I have enough blush for the two of us. Yeah. Let me know again if you'll be picking any of these up in, section, in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hot. Um, I'm gonna just blend this out a little bit more. <laughs> oh my god! And yeah, that is all I have for you all today. I hope you enjoy.